Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to the Missy Money channel. I'm Missy and I'm a mom of three and the owner of Missy Money, a small business that specializes in minimalist and aesthetic cash stuffing essentials to help inspire and motivate you on your personal finance journey. Today, I am going to be cash stuffing my third paycheck of September, including variable expenses, sinking funds, and savings challenges. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so I'm excited to be cash stuffing for the third week of September and as always I'm going to start by seeing what I have left over from this last pay period and choosing if I'm going to roll over or um, unstuff and contribute my leftover variable expense dollars into my sinking funds. So let's see what we've got left here. So in groceries I've got $22. I'm going to unstuff that. Eating out. I've got $12. I'll go ahead and unstuff that as well. Gas I did spend this week. I filled up. Spending money is also spent this week. Family has $5 left. I'm going to go ahead and unstuff that. I did spend my kindness envelope this week. Miscellaneous has $5. I'm going to go ahead and unstuff that. And then as always, I will not unstuff my spent envelope until the very end of this month. So once I'm done with all of my pay periods and I'm ready to close out the month, then I will unstuff my spent envelope and um, put that into the bank. But as of right now, I'm still making transactions for the month of September on my credit card and debit card. So I'll still be using that spent envelope for this month. So that is it for unstuffing my variable expenses. And I'm going to go ahead and just set this money aside. And then at the end of the video, when it's time to contribute to savings challenges, I'll pull that and we, we will um, see what we have to contribute. All right, guys, so before I get started into my cash stuffing, I am just going to quickly review my paycheck breakdown and cash planning sheet. And this week, I actually did that planning in my digital budget planner. So I'm going to go ahead and hop over and show you what I did. All right, guys, so this is my paycheck breakdown and cash planning sheet for this pay period. I've already gone ahead and filled out most of this template, but there are some things I'm just going to input live just to show you how the digital budget planner works. So I've already entered my pay details, which included my net pay, my pay date, my pay period for this paycheck, and then per my percent of monthly income. I'm a weekly paid employee, and so I plan to four paychecks every single month, and so each of my paychecks represents 25%. And for that reason, Reason, I keep 25% of all of my bill and debt payments in the bank with every single paycheck. And then over the course of the month through my four paychecks, I am saving up 100% of my monthly bill and debt payments. And those are in the bank and then ready for auto drafting next month's bills and debts. And so I do cash stuff my wallet, my weekly wallet, which is my variable expenses. I also cash stuff my sinking funds. So you can see I've planned all of my sinking funds. And then I also cash stuff a couple of of my savings challenges. Now, what I've allocated here for my savings challenges is just a portion of what I will end up contributing during this cash stuffing because my primary source of contributions for savings challenges is my leftover variable expenses that I started out this video by unstuffing. And so I will combine what I plan from this paycheck with that leftover variable expense cash in total, that will be what I contribute to my savings challenges. So at the top of the template, these three areas are auto-calculated for you. So you can see your overview table, what you have left to allocate for your paycheck. And I think this part is really helpful because it just kind of gives you a guide of what you need to continue allocating for this paycheck as you go through your planning. And it'll even show you if you're over planned. So if you have planned too much, then that number will be negative And you know that you need to start taking some out of different categories to get it back to zero. But you want this left to allocate to be zero at the end of your paycheck planning. And that means that you've planned your paycheck to zero base budget. And then the cash planning summary will give you a real time look at your cash planning as you enter your denominations across the board as well. So I have $125 left to allocate in this paycheck. And you can see that I left a couple of my wallet categories blank just so you could see how this worked real time. So I'm going to be planning $40 in my spending envelope, and I'm going to cash stuff two twenties. So as I entered that information, you could see that my left to allocate went down by four $40. And then as I entered 220s, my cash planning summary table also took into account those 220s as well. 
I'm also going to stuff 40 in my family envelope, and I'm going to do two 20s for that as well. I'm going to stuff five in my wallet um, kindness envelope, and I'm going to do one five for that. And then I will stuff 40 in miscellaneous, and I will do two 20s for that as well. So now that I have filled out um, what was left for this paycheck breakdown, you can see that my left to allocate is now zero. In my overview table, I had my net pay at 29.70. I'm keeping 18.85 in the bank, and so my total cash withdrawal should be $1,085. And then I just want to come over here and cross check that with my cash planning summary because my total cash withdrawal is adding up all of the amounts that I entered in the template. And then this cash planning summary is, an, is adding up all of my denominations that I planned. So I want this total cash withdrawal number to match my grand total to withdraw, which it does at $1,085. So once I do that check, then I can just use this cash planning summary table to fill out a teller slip and then go get the money that I need from the bank. All right, so consistent with my cash planning, I already went to the bank, but I did withdraw $1,085 in the denominations that um, I needed after I did my cash planning. And so I'm going to go ahead and set that aside, and then I'm just going to put my cash into the cash tray here. A lot of 20s this week. All right. So we are all set there. And as always, I'm going to go ahead and start by stuffing my variable expenses in my weekly wallet for the week. So let's see what we've got here. And actually, one of the things that I did want to point out is if you are using the digital um, budget planner, you can actually print out your digital budget planner, paycheck breakdown and cash planning sheet as like a sheet on your printer. I like having this to the side or just something that tells me to the side which denominations I kind of need as I'm going through my cash stuffing. Um, so you can either print this out on your printer or or if you are someone that likes planning in a paper version, I also have a paper version of my budget planner. Um, and I know some people are using the digital version kind of like the calculator and then transferring it over into their paper planner. So you can print it out if you'd like. So that's what I'm gonna be having off to the side this week as I do um, my cash stuffing. So groceries this week is getting $200 and that is getting one 100 and two fifties. And then eating out is getting 125, and that's two fifties, a 20, and a five. Hopefully between groceries and eating out, we have a little bit left over this week because we are going over to my mom and dad's house um, to celebrate our family's kind of birthdays over the past three months. I explained this in the last video, but we have a really large family. We're all kind of in the same area. And about every three months we get together and we celebrate everybody's birthdays that happened over the past three months. Um, and it's really fun. My I have three siblings. They're all married and they all have kids. So it ends up being like 20 of us <laughs> that descend on my mom and dad's house. And we always, always get sent home with leftovers. My mom always makes enough food to feed an army. So whenever we have, um, we call it Nanny and Pappy's house because that's what my kids call them. But whenever we have dinner at Nanny and Pappy's house, we always have um, some leftover money in both groceries and eating out because Nanny's leftovers feed us for a little while, which is awesome. Um, all right, so next we are getting $30 into gas this week. We probably will spend that, especially since we are going up to Nanny and Pappy's house. It's a little bit of a drive, so. Um, spending is getting $40 this week. Family is also getting $40 this week. And then kindness is getting $5. And miscellaneous is also getting $40. And I just use miscellaneous as a catch-all kind of category. Um, for example, I was buying presents for this birthday celebration and I needed to spend more than what was in my gifts envelope, my gift sinking fund. And so I pulled into miscellaneous just to cover the extra. So we have quite a few birthdays that we are celebrating. 
All right, so next is long-term sinking funds. And for us, long-term sinking funds are sinking funds that we um, do not anticipate that we are gonna need to be using much within the next year. So it's mostly sinking funds that we wanna build up or they have like one kind of big, big spend date. So Christmas is a good example of that. We kind of want to build it. I kind of want to build it up over the course of the year and then it'll empty out this December and then I'll start building it back up again. Um, so my first long-term sinking fund is emergency and this week that is getting $40. So emergency now has 20, 40, 60, 80. And my goal for emergency, we actually previously had our emergency fund all the way funded, um, but we had a couple of things um, that we needed to dip into emergency for. So my goal to get emergency back replenished to where it was is $4,000. So that will be that goal. It'll probably take a little while, but that's all right. Um, all right, Christmas is also getting $40 this week. So Christmas now has 1,000, 50, 70, 90, 110, 130. That took me a second. $1,130 in Christmas. Holidays is getting 10 this week. So Holidays now has 100, 200, 10, 20, 30. Thanks for all the suggestions for those of you that put suggestions into um a couple of videos ago when I asked what some ideas were for our group family costume, there were some awesome ideas in there. We might actually use one of them. So I'm really excited for that. I need to um, look into the different pieces I need and start piecing our costumes together. Um, all right, medical is getting $20 this week. So medical now has 100, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 235. And I separate out our medical for me and Dan and then the kids medical into the kids binder. So those are separate. Insurance is getting $20. This is just for car insurance because our health insurance is taken out of my paycheck. So insurance now has 100, 200, 250, 270, 290. And we pay that premium twice a year and that premium, um, next premium will be December, due in December. Home is getting 25 this week. So home now has 100, 150, 170, 190, 195, 200, 205. And then lawn is getting $10. Lawn now has 20, 30, 40. Car is getting $15. So car now has 100, 120, 130, 140, 145, 150, 155. And for us, that's just anything like car maintenance, something happens with a car, oil change, anything like that. And then anniversary is empty because Dan and I went on our big anniversary date um, last Saturday. Yeah, that was last Saturday. And oh my gosh, there's a story there. So, all right, so this is my um, short-term sinking funds. So that whole day, guys, was like a comedy of errors. But I have to tell you, even that being the case, it was one of the funnest dates that Dan and I have ever been on because we just like belly laughed the entire day because the day itself was so crazy. So, all right. So shopping is getting 25. So we had planned this like whole day date and we were going to go get a massage. Then we were going to go have lunch and a drink and watch football at like a sports bar. And then we were going to go to the mall, buy ourselves clothes, which I know does not sound that exciting, but we have not bought ourselves clothes for the past four years because we buy the kids clothes. Um, and so we just wanted to get some clothes for ourselves and then also buy a nice outfit because then for dinner, we were going to a really nice restaurant. So this was the plan. So shopping now has um, 20, 40, 45. So we are, you know, ready in the morning. Our child care shows up. They're going to go to the park with the kids. So we help load them into the car and we're about ready to go to our massage. Date night is getting 25. So date night now has 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85. And Dan gets a text message that one of our massage therapists isn't able to come in. So they canceled our massage. So that was a little bit of a bummer, but we were kind of like, eh, that's fine. We'll just go to the mall. Dan's like, let's just go to the mall now. And then we can kind of have more of a, you know, lazy afternoon. And so we were like, okay, we're going to change the plan a bit. 
Family Fun got, I think I put 20 in there. Family Fun, I think, got 20. So now Family Fun has 100 or 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 70. So we go um, to the mall. We grab, you know, clothes and, um, and outfits for the evening, which was great. All of that worked out fine. And then we go to the place where Dan had um, made a reservation for lunch. Like, just like I said, like a little rooftop um, bar and restaurant that had TVs. Um, this is clothing. So clothing now has 100, 150, 200, 20, 40, 60, 65, 70. And the restaurant is closed. And the restaurant's on this little campus that's got like a hotel. That restaurant's actually on the rooftop of a hotel. And then there are like two or three other restaurants. So we were about to go to the rooftop and we were asking the front desk of the hotel how we got to the rooftop. Self-care is getting $20 and now has 50, 150, 200, 20, 40. And she's like, oh, I'm so sorry, it's closed. And we were like, what do you mean it's closed? Like we had a reservation. She's like, yeah, this um, company bought out, um, bought out the whole restaurant. And she's like, and normally I'd tell you to go across the street to one of the other restaurants, but they bought that out too. And we were like, what on a Saturday? That's like the wildest thing we've ever heard. So we got a little nosy and we went and creeped. And what we ended up finding out, we started seeing all this New England Patriots signage as we were creeping around. And what we figured out is that the New England Patriots were in to play the Bengals and they like rented out the whole campus. And so where we were going to go have lunch ended up getting rented out. That was like, we like snuck up there and we saw a sign that was like, that was where the players were eating their meals. Um, and we didn't, we saw a couple, we ended up seeing a couple players in the lobby of the hotel as we were leaving to go find another restaurant. But, um, but yeah, it was kind of wild. We were like, well, I guess that makes sense. That is an organization that would probably want to rent all of that out. Um, so yeah, so our lunch plans ended up getting kind of canceled on us. So we had to go then find a restaurant and the restaurant that we ended up eating at gifts is getting 20, um, was like, it was fine. It was like just a Mexican restaurant that we had never been to before, but we sat next to this like trio of women who were celebrating one of the women's birthdays and they were hilarious. Kindness um, for my kindness project projects is getting $15. And so kindness now has 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 200, 205. And so the all like we're kind of just enjoying lunch. We're watching football on the screens that they have there. And all of a sudden, all of the employees of this restaurant start going and like putting on. And I'm not exaggerating when I say this, like marching band, like instruments, like a bass drum that this like one of the waiters was literally wearing like a bass drum like they do in marching bands like on them with a harness and then there were like multiple cymbals there was a regular drum that I mean like it was a full-blown marching band and they like start marching and singing happy birthday and like playing happy birthday with this like mini marching band inside the restaurant to the table next to us and Dan and I were just looking at each other like we are a hundred percent in an alternate universe like we have hopped the timeline this is the multi verse because this day is just bananas um all right miscellaneous now has 20 40 60 80 90 so we were just like laughing the whole day because it, like I said it was just like a comedy of errors like I, nothing went to plan but it was just still so funny and it was like it was like in retrospect one of the like I said one of the funnest experiences because we were just laughing all day long so it ended up being totally fine, but it was definitely one of those things that we were just like, oh my gosh, like this has not gone to plan at all, um, but it was fun. So we did have our anniversary day date. I told him, I think next time we do our anniversary, like we should go in with no plan and just see what happens because now I don't know how we're going to top that from an experience. Um, all right, guys, this is my kids binder and this week all the kids are getting $5.00. The kids, while we were gone all day, because we were gone for like, gosh, like 12 hours from like nine to nine. And um, and so the kids got to use some of their money to pick out or just do activities during the day and pick out treats and special things that they wanted to do. So um, Remy now has 10 and then Callie 
still has 30, so she's gonna have 35. The bigger kids were the bigger spenders, which I guess makes sense. Um, all right, Kids Medical is getting $20. So Kids Medical now has 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 50. Okay, activities. So activities now has, well, activities needs $25. And activities now has 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 190, 200, 205, 210, 215. I think the one part of the day that I do want to redo on is the couple's massage because we were really looking forward to that and we have not gotten a massage in like a million in two years. Um, so I think that that would be nice to do as like a, special date activity if we can figure out how to fit it in but other than that I don't think I would change anything about the day it was hilarious and very fun um all right birthday's got 20 so birthday's now has 20 40 60 80 120 40 60 80 220 40 and this is specifically for kids birthdays so like kids birthdays parties with their friends all right kids clothing is getting 25 and I actually am going to need to move um, some of this over because I just bought them sweatshirts so I need to account for that credit card transaction if I don't have when I am out um, in you know making purchases if I don't have access to my um, sinking fund binders where I am making that purchase, I can't move the cash right away from the appropriate envelope back into my spent envelope. So what I'll do is I just use my little spent envelope expense tracker and I'll mark that expense in my like on my tracker that I keep in my spent envelope. And then at the end of the week, I'll go back and see if there were any transactions that I need to pull the cash from, just different envelopes. Um, and then I'll just put a little check mark next to that transaction when I'm done with it. So that's how I manage tra transactions to my spent envelope if I'm not able to move the cash right away, like in this case. So um, kids clothing now has 50, 70, 90, 110, 120, 125, 130. But most of that is spent, so. That will get moved. Um, all right, haircuts. Kids' haircuts are getting $5. Maverick actually got his haircut this past week, so it now has 20, 30, 35. And he did awesome. Memberships is getting $15. And memberships now has 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 160, 170, 175, 180, 185. That's for things like the zoo, the aquarium, the children's museum, just any place that we have a family membership to. And then school is getting $15 as well. School now has 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 10, 20, 25, 30. And at this point, it's just starting to build back up for back to school or just things that we'll need during the school year. Like next um, next week is spirit week for the kids and they have to wear different things like every single day. And um, and I think I'm going to need to buy a couple of t-shirts for a couple of the days just to just so they're like on theme with the spirit week. So I'll probably pull that out of school instead of pulling it out of kids clothes. Um, all right. And then teacher gifts. Teacher gifts is also getting 15 and we won't spend this until the holidays, but, um, so teacher gifts now has 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35. We love their teachers this year. This, um, they're new to both of us, not new to the school, but we've just not had either of these teachers yet. And they just, the kids just love them. So we're really lucky. We've loved every single teacher that we've had at their school. All right, guys, so it is time for savings challenges. So before I do that, ooh, I have an extra, I have an extra 20. So somewhere in this video, I missed it. As I was telling the story, I did not pull the money to stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this aside because I should only have two 20s um, for savings challenges. So I'm gonna set that aside and then when I'm doing the editing, I'm gonna find where I missed it and I'm gonna pop it in that envelope. Um, but we had, I had planned for contributions to the 52 week challenge and then the vacation savings challenge. And then I also have this money left over from my variable expenses. So I'm gonna go ahead and 
put this all together and then we can see what we've got to contribute to savings challenges. All right. That's the benefit of filming my cash stuffing is if I make a mistake, then I can go back and see where I did it <laughs> as I was gabbing about our day date. Okay, um, first I'm going to do the 52 week savings challenge. So I'll pull out this binder, which is becoming a pretty honking binder. Um, all right, so I am on week 38 of the 52 week savings challenge. So I'm gonna pop back here find envelope number 38 and let's see if we've got $38 we do and then I've got an extra one I don't use ones um, other than this challenge and so I'm just going to put this in my variable expenses in my weekly wallet so um, I'll go ahead and do that and then I'll put my $38 into week 38 And this one is getting towards the end of this challenge, which is so awesome. Got it timed now where I'm going to be able to do the unstuffing um, like at the end of the year and post a video of that so you can kind of see how the whole cycle works. So if you want to get started with me with the new calendar year, then you'll be able to time it up so we can do that. So that is it for the 52 week challenge for this week. And then last is the Magical Vacation Savings Challenge. So let's see what I've got here to contribute. I'm just going to bend this back so it lays flat. So I've got $70, $80, and I've got a mix of denominations. So let's see what we got and what we can do here. I think I'm going to do another tickets because I've got $30 so I'm going to put $30 towards another I'll show you what those look like so I'm going to put $30 towards filling in one more ticket symbol which is awesome and I just did a condensing but I might need another one in a couple of weeks especially in the kids binder because I wasn't able to condense much of the kids binder um, because I didn't pull out enough 100s and 50s last time. So let's fill in, well, let's see if there's any others that I haven't started. I can't do that. All right, I'm gonna do two little lamps for activities. Do a 20 for that, so fill in two of those because each symbol on my activities is worth 10. And I always mention this, but for those that are new, I'm doing the Magical Vacation Savings Challenge, but there's a regular Vacation Savings Challenge as well if you are saving up for something that is um, like not a family vacation or if it's just you prefer the regular one. Um, la, 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 la. What else do we have? Let's do, I'm gonna fill in two of the emergency. That'll be $20 because my emergency symbols are also worth 10 a piece. Hopefully we won't need to use it and then this emergency cash will just be extra cash the end of the vacation, but better to plan for it. All right. And then filled out any pack. Ooh, there's two fives that I haven't started yet. So I'm going to do one for each of those. So packing is a $5 challenge. So I'm going to put my first five towards that. Packing 
Packing the little slipper, princess slipper. And packing can be anything. It can be anything from like, if you need new luggage to like, you know, clothes um, that are unique for the trip as well. And then pre-trip prep our little cute little magic wands. And that's also worth $5 for me. So I am just gonna fill in one of those. That's a cute one. I like how that looks all colored in. And I think that means that now I have made at least one contribution to every single challenge. So I've got airfare, packing, pre-trip prep, accommodations, transportation, food and drinks, tickets, entertainment, activities. Ooh, no, that was a lie. I haven't done spending yet or pet care, which I will need to do both of those. All right, well, started almost all of them, so that's great. Hey guys, so I figured out where that extra 20 came from and I'm gonna let you know what I did with that extra 20 because I actually made two mistakes in this video um, that I realized when I was editing. So the first thing that I did is when I did this paycheck breakdown and cash planning, I kept it, kept it consistent from the first two weeks, which included a $20 contribution into my anniversary envelope. But since Dan and I just had our anniversary date, technically we don't need to stuff right away. We'll wanna build that up over time, but I don't really need $20 in it this week, which is good because I realized the other thing that I did was I totally missed my um, 12 month savings challenge and contributing to September, which I like to do every single week. So I should have figured that because my contribution to the magical vacation savings challenge was higher than my normal on a weekly basis. Um, but that's because I just forgot to plan for my 12 month savings challenge. So I'm going to use that $20 and go ahead and put it into the September um, savings challenge. And then I will close out the September savings challenge next week. All right, guys, that is it for my third paycheck of September. Um, as always, I just want to take a minute to thank everybody that's been part of this community and has engaged in some way, whether that's with my YouTube videos, by liking, commenting, um, subscribing. If you're a subscriber, that is super helpful to me and um, it means a lot that you're just following along my journey. And for all of those that have supported the shop um, just by either going and looking at the different items that I have or by buying something on the shop, that means so so much to me as well and I know that there are some of you that are both um, YouTube viewers and um, and people that have shopped um, on the website and just been so supportive with that I just am so humbled and grateful to be a part of this community so if you are following along and you're on your own personal finance journey just know that I'm rooting for you and as always I wish you a simple budget a calm mind and a happy life thanks for watching